Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here, welcoming you back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, episode, we made it to Fortree Gym, defeated all of the gym trainers, and today we stand side by side against the gym leader herself, Winona. So yeah, um, little team, quick team recap here, um, yeah, I got Naraku at level 33, everyone else at level 32. Um, I bel who has the experience share? I think so. Yeah, you have the experience share. Um, yeah, I think we should be fine. I wish I had, um, the magnet for Naraku. I haven't found it yet. Though I think I know where it is. And I just... I'm a nut. But I should be fine. Um, I don't think any new moves have been learned yet, so I think we should be okay. Let's just check Naraku out for a little bit. Yeah, Naraku should be pretty good. Actually, speaking of new moves, um, <laughs> let me actually teach Naraku a new move right now. Let's teach him Shockwave. <laughs> I think that will help a lot here. 60 power does not miss. Oh, Shippo can learn it? Jeez. But yeah, I'm gonna have Naraku learn it. Yes. Um, I'm going to take away Tackle, because I don't see the point in having that. Right. think we'll be good now. So let's do this. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Okay, so it seems like a... It was like a war goddess or something. Alright, so, here we go. This is our... What is this? The sixth gym battle against leader Winona. It's five Pokemon. Master of the flying type. Let's go. First up, she has a Swablu, level 29, with the moveset of Parish Song, Mirror Move, Safeguard, and Aerial Ace. Okay. Um, let's show off Shockwave. <laughs> there you go. Boom! And there you go. <laughs> Goodbye, Swablu. It was nice knowing you. Alright, I'll ta- oh, wow. Oh, wait, really? You're already sending out Altar- oh, jeez. That, I did not expect. Oh, this axe might be a toughie. Oh dear. Okay, so Altaria. I'm actually going to switch out into Kagome. Alright, Altaria is the flying dragon type. Yes, I said dragon type. Um, <laughs> Evolution of Swablu. With the, uh, has the Oranberry, level 33, with the moveset of Earthquake, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, and Aerial Ace. Oh boy, which is why I actually had Kagome out here to somewhat lower its attack. Um... What should I do with this with this one? I'm trying to figure if I should use Howl or just Lord's Accuracy. I'm going to Lord's Accuracy. Oh dear. Alright, this is a problem here, because Dragon Dance increases attack and speed. So, I guess unfortunately... Well, now it's at base, so... I'm going to try to Lord's Accuracy a bit. Oh no. It's going for the sweep. That's not good. I saw lowering its accuracy a bit. Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> That's three times it's already done this. And I know what's next. Most likely Earthquake. Alright, I'm going to have to start attacking it. It's still... Oh, no. It's going to max it out. Oh, dear. I... I'm a bit worried now. Ooh, you're def oh yeah, I forgot. Altari is unbelievably defensive. This is terrifying. All it's done is Dragon Dance. <laughs> yep, there's Earthquake. It's gonna sweep. It's gonna, it's gonna try to sweep my team. Oh! All right, there's the Oranberry. All right. And there goes Kagome. Great. 
Well, I didn't actually expect her to use Altaria this early. Um. All right. <laughs> um. All right, I have to go Moroku here, but I don't even think Moroku can outspeed this thing. Unless I can get a Confuse Ray. Oh, wow, we can speed it. Yes! All right, Confuse Ray. Moroku is still faster than Altaria. That is incredible, actually. Because Altaria is, can be pretty fast. And it's base. It's still setting up? Are you kidding me? Oh, dear. You have to attack yourself. All right, now it's faster than me. Please attack yourself. Oh, that's bad. Oh, wow, Moroku still survived. All right, please still be confused. Oh, wow, we're speed tied. Come on, Moroku. Oh, can, we, can, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, Moroku. Moroku is the MVP of this team. The MVP. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would not have beaten Altar without Moroku just there. We have to win this. Tropius. Okay, um... Alright. I'm gonna stay in. Tropius is the Grass Flying type. Um, level 29. I'm gonna heal up Moroku, because, you know, Moroku should be able to do this. Move set of Sunny Day, Aerial Ace, Solar Beam, and Synthesis. Alright. So, Moroku Mar is actually in prime form for this one. Seeing, seeing it's part grass, I got this. So, I believe it actually might resist electric types because of its grass type attribute. Also, Tropius does not have any evolutions, not that it needs any, it's pretty powerful as it is. And there it goes. Moroku. Keep it up. Ooh, level, level 33 for Inuyasha. Okay, pretty good stats. Pelipper. Alright, now we can finally get back into Niraku. Alright, this is actually going better than I thought it would. Like I said, Altaria was my biggest worry, but we got that all settled. So now we got here Pelipper, level 30. Water flying type with a moveset of water gun, protect, supersonic, and aerial ace. Let's see if we can do it first. Ah, that's what I found. Usually starts with protect. It's kind of how it is. I'm still going to paralyze you. Alright, there. And now you're going to be done. What are you going to do to me? Water gun? <laughs> that's cute. Guess what I have? New move shockwave. Doesn't miss. See how much this does. That's four times effectiveness. There you go. Naraku! Showing everyone why you're the boss. Skarmory, I believe. Yep, Skarmory, the last Pokemon. I'm gonna stay in. Flying Steel type. <laughs> From Gen 2. Yeah, this guy was a monster in Gen 2. Still is a monster now. Level 31 moveset of Sand Attack, Fury Attack, Steel Wing, and Aerial Ace. This guy's already done, so whatever. Only weaknesses, I think, are um, fire and electric. Oh, survived. <laughs> That's funny, because uh, Shockwave doesn't miss. I don't care how many times you use Sand Attack. Yeah, you can Hyper Potion yourself up as much as you want. Naraku, end this. <laughs> you got this. Alright, one more... Oh, you're using both your potions. Well, it's it's pretty sad that your Skarmory cannot do anything to me. <laughs> I just kind of wish this Shockwave could have finished it off, but whatever. One last Lightning Bolt to the head ends Skarmory. And we'd win! Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present you with this with this gym badge. Alright, that's some good money. And we get the feather badge from Winona. Now get that on the layout. 
With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, ooh, 70, jeez, even those received through trades will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the A to move Fly outside of battle. Yes. And this, this is a gift from me. The TM40, which I believe is Aerial Ace. Yes. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Yes, it's basically a shockwave for flying Pokemon. I, I believe it's actually the same power, too. 60 power. Though I fell to you, I will remain d devoted to bird Pokemon. Okay. So, there we go. That took about 10 minutes. I achieved liftoff. Nice. Alright, so that's... That's Fortree Gym done. Wait, what? Hi, Emerald. It's me. Hi, Scott. Just as I thought, you wanted the Fortree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. How did Scott know I won against uh, Winona? <coughs> like, he's nowhere in the area. <coughs> that's kind of weird. Well, he's, he's a fan of mine, so that's great. Need all the support we can get. Alright, so now that we've beaten Winona, we need to start getting back to the main story of this game. Let me just look at one more thing here. Uh -huh, da -da -da, repel. I probably should be getting some repels. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we're not going to be probably coming back to Fortree. Again, unfortunately. So let's get some super repels. You'll see why eventually. <laughs> okay. So now that we're done with that, we need to go further to the right. I'll show you on the map. We are now going to be headed down towards this area, actually, where you see this green island like thing. I don't know if we'll make it, make it there in this episode, but that's where we're going. I wish we could run across this. But we can't. Oh well. Alright, let me set up that repel now. Okay. Gonna get... Who should we get up? Take that away from you. I'm gonna give that to... Shippo. And then I'm going to put Koga and Kagome close to the top. Alright, let's go. Alright, now we can... I'll get that item. Whatever it is. Don't remember what it is. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, another uh, Kekulion here. Gotta fight it. I forgot about you, Kekulion. I don't think I actually have to fight it, but I will. Look at Koga and its terrifying greatness. Oh, I lowered its speed, nice. <clears throat> Okay. That's not gonna help you. I'm not gonna catch you, Kecleon. You're really not worth it. <laughs> I already have my team of peeps, so... Yeah. I just don't know what that item is down there, so I'm curious. Hopefully this will end you. Really? Oh my goodness, has like one health. <laughs> Dang it! Indiasa! Used to be able to kill it. Absorb it! Alright. Now we're done with this guy. Yeah, I, I forgot about this Kecleon actually, so I'm sorry about that. Let me get some experience. And you're gone. A nest ball. Awesome. There's an island down here, but I don't want to get into that right now. 
I don't think it's really important anyway, so. Let's go. What am I doing anyway? I need to get on my bike. No, I shouldn't. That's a bad idea. Alright. And now it is raining. Oh, dear. That's bad. Not really. Do you have any moves that can strike, strike a flying Pokemon? Uh... Yes. I have Naraku. <laughs> Birdkeeper Colin. I have a Wingo. Okay. Oh, you're part water, so yeah, it's gonna be an issue. <laughs> yes, okay, let's see what Vice Grip does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that works. That, that works a lot. Ooh, Natu. Natu. I think this is the first time we've seen Natu. I don't remember, but Psychic Flying from Gen 2 evolves into Zatu. And, oh wow, well, you survived. Fortunately for you, Natu, you can't do much to me. Part Dark. There you go. That's it. You soared above me. Yes, I did. And bye. Oh, we got lots of double battles here. Alright, should be fine, though. We ninja conceal ourselves under camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. Nah, of course I didn't. If you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. Yeah, of course I can see that paper mache outline behind me. <laughs> Alright, you two, what you got? A uh, Ninkata and a Metatite. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say, but both of you are going down pretty badly. <laughs> Especially that Ninkata. <laughs> Bug ground type. Yeah, it's not going to help you very much with it raining. Alright, um... Let's see what's supposed to bite. Oh, here we go. Detect. I hate that move. Well, Ninkata should be done. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that battle against Winona was interesting. <laughs> that really could have gone either way, to be fair. I was just pretty lucky. Oh, coughing. I'm gonna get rid of you, Metatite, eventually. And you too, coughing. I don't want you to poison us or explode or anything like that. Not about that. Wow. <laughs> Bye, Metatite. <laughs> quick. On a Makuhita. Makuhita. You jerk. Poison me. No. Alright. Dang it. How dare you. Alright, bubble beam on Makuhita. Bite you. Bye. I'm actually going to end off the episode after this battle. Oh, level 33, nice. And yeah, Koga has some really good attack, so that's gonna help us a lot. Jeez! Alright, got you guys. I lost! I should camouflage my shame. Okay. <laughs> Ouch! I was the one that got hurt. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Well, let me get the item over here. I got revive, nice. Alright, so I'm gonna heal poison off of my Pokemon. If I have the means to do so, which I do. And I'm just gonna end it off here. So next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we'll continue on this route um, towards uh, Mount Pyre, I believe. Yeah, we're going to continue on this route to around here. So, uh, if you like this part, please press that like button down below. Comment, let me know what you thought about Winona. If you saw her in the anime or just in battle, what do you think of her as a gym leader? Eh, I think she was alright. I think she was pretty tough, but I liked her as a gym leader. Pretty cool. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from me, the Nintendo Sony Man. I will see you guys on route to our new destination. See you later.